All right, in this video, we are going to look at how to animate these digits like you see right here. Uh, each digit that we have is an individual piece inside of our root. Um, that way we can animate each individual piece. So it does require quite a few items to put it inside of root. And as the time goes on here, as you can see, each second is showing up here. Um, once this becomes the next minute, you'll see this kind of, I think, either fade or do something to go to 14. And all of these pieces will animate based on the time. So here you go, there's the 14. As you can see, this one kind of faded in and this one uh, spun and faded at the same time. We can apply these animations to each individual piece because we are putting them inside of root. Now, some things I have noticed about my preset here, uh, we can avoid that by doing a few things. Um, a little bit different, but the way I have mine set up, if I go over to Globals and I got some colors set up and all that stuff, but if we look at, I don't know why that's faded there, but if you've messed with KOWP enough now, you know that sometimes the advanced editor does not show exactly what you see on your screen. But nonetheless, um, you know, looking at this one right here, I call this like my first digit. So I can adjust its left and right movement. As you can see, that digit is moving. And it's and these two pieces, there's actually four pieces, but you, or no, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven pieces that are all moving in unison. We can adjust the length and the height, and notice everything's adjusting accordingly. Uh, we can also uh, apply corners where I can adjust the thickness as well. So there's the thickness. We can adjust the corners. As you can see, the corners of that digit do kind of change their shape, and we can also uh, move it up and down. Now, the only thing about this, applying all these number global variables, what I do find sometimes, let me just save this, go back to the home screen, and let's see if we run into the issue. No, I'm not running into it right now, but I have everything here set in like the top left corner, and then I have the number global variables to move all these digits around. But what I find sometimes is that some of these pieces will lose their position on the screen, and they'll uh, fly back up here to the top left-hand corner. I can't show that to you right now. Um, I was thinking maybe it might. Sometimes it'll do it. Let me, see, let me try one more time. Okay, it's still not showing it here. Let me go back to KLWP. Okay, boom, look at that. Do you see that red digit that flew up there in the top left-hand corner? Look, you see that? Now that one's out of place and actually it's supposed to be right there. I'm gonna show you how you can avoid this and it's not, and basically you can avoid it by not using the global variables. Um, that way, wherever you put this in this piece, it will stay there. The only downside to that is the ability to quickly scale it and move it around, but you can avoid this digit or that part of the digit getting out of place. Um, actually, I think there's two spots that are out of place because or maybe, nope, just kidding. Maybe this one goes right there because it is 1116. But nonetheless, that's what I'm going to show you how to avoid in this video. So in KOWP, as you can see, it did fly back. I don't know if you just noticed that, but if we go back to the home screen, notice that digit did go back to the right spot. Let me show you how to do this in KOWP. I'm just going to start a blank preset. And what we're going to do quickly is just create uh, seven rectangles and we're going to put them and we're going to move them to where we want them without doing any uh, global variables with our numbers. So I'm going to do that very quickly. To keep this somewhat uh, uniform I am going to keep the same let's do uh, okay I'll keep the thickness of my bar around 40 for all of my bars and I'm just going to let that one stay right there. So basically I'm creating this part and I'm going to come and do this for all the rest of my pieces as well we just got to remember uh, which one's which. So let me paste this. I'm going to change this color just so I can have something to follow by. And now what we want to do with this one, I want to adjust this back down to 40. Or I could rotate it, but I'm going to do it like that. I forgot what I had to link that. Let me check the length. Okay, 300. All right, so this one I'm going to adjust to 300. And now we want to position this where we want it. So let's put this guy, um, we'll put it over here and we'll bump it down a little bit. Something like that. All right, continuing on. I'm gonna take this next one here. Sorry, I'm using my finger sometimes on my phone. Let me just take this shape here and let's bump it to positive 180 over here on this side. I'm just creating the number for right now. So I'm gonna fast forward through a lot of this.
All right, so here we go. Here's all of our pieces. Um, nothing's animated yet, but notice we do have each individual piece inside of our root, as, our, as I mentioned. That way we can animate each piece individually. So something that we want to look at and review uh, is, is how to animate each piece and how do we make it show the correct thing. And the best way to do this is I'm going to show you based on the time. So I'm going to write out these digits over here. This is what I want my one to look like. And basically I don't want to see this, this, this this or this um, if that makes sense basically I'm trying to hide this piece this piece this piece this piece and this piece if I want to see just a one those are the only two pieces I want to see there um, and I'm gonna come here and repeat this so for like two we want to see these pieces for three we want to see these and hopefully you get the idea but I'm gonna write out all of them that way I can have a reference there's our four five, um, six, seven, and eight, nine, hopefully this is making sense, and then we got a zero that we want to finish off with. All right, so that's going to show our digits. And I'm going to use um, the DFSS, I'm assuming you're familiar with uh, the seconds, how to get seconds on the, uh, to show up here in KOWP. So I'm going to go back over here to make sure I select the right one. Let's focus on just this right now. Now, when do we want this white piece, the top part, when do we want it to fade out? We want it to fade out when the seconds is at one, um, we want it to fade out when seconds are at four, five we don't, six we don't, seven we don't, eight we don't, nine we don't, zero we don't. So that's the only two times we want this thing to fade out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select that white top bar. That's the one I have selected right now. I'm going to go over to animation and we're going to add an animation. And we want it to react on a formula. Okay, and this formula is going to be the following. I'm going to type this over here on the program then I'm going to copy and paste it. So we're going to say if DFSS, I think it's DF, I forget my formulas because most of the time I just copy and paste. Yeah, DFSS and what we want to do here, we want to be careful with our cut. We want to make sure we cut our text too. Assuming that you've watched some of my tutorials on cutting text, if uh, TC cut, well let's just do this first. If DFSS is equal to 1, or DFSS is equal to four. We want this thing to fade out. So basically I'm gonna say I want it to fade out, otherwise I want it to come back in, and this is gonna be part of my code, but now we gotta do this. We gotta apply the cut, because we want just this digit here. This is the one I'm gonna animate, that way we can see it animate all these digits quickly, because the second digit of the seconds is gonna be the one, two, three, four. I hope that makes sense there. So TC, uh, cut comma DFSS and we want it to cut the now there's a new way we can cut text now it's been a while since I've cut some text but if we go to TC text converter um whoops I meant the wrong one let me use my finger real quick I can do it a lot quicker like that all right TC and cut so here we want to print the last two characters. Well, all I want to do is print the last one. So basically, I want to print this one right here. So I'm going to do a TC cut my code, and then I want to do a negative one. So I need to do something like this. Uh, let me see. Comma, negative one. Okay. That should be right. Let me take this text and make it a little bit smaller. so we can see it. Because this code is going to become longer for some of our other digits. So if we cut just the last uh, digit of seconds, that's what this right here is doing. And if it's equal to one, I want it to fade out because I don't want to see that top part. Or we got to do the same thing again here. So TC cut comma seconds, we want to print the last character. And if it's equal to four, we want it to fade out. So this code right here should be good. And we're going to test it right here in a second as well to make sure everything's right with my coding here. 
but I think that is correct. So let me copy all this. Whoops. All right, and let's paste it into here. Delete all this stuff. Did it go in there? Perfect. All right. Now let's just test whether it's going to, I'm going to make this thing rotate. No, let's make it fade out. Okay, and to test this and make sure it's working, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my root. And I'm going to add. I'm going to use my finger. Okay, the phone's just being a little slow. Let me add a text item. Okay, if it, what I'm doing on my phone is not showing up on the screen. It's being a little bit slow. Hopefully we can fix this right here in a second. And all I want to print is the DFSS. Okay, so let's check that. Let's save it. And let's go, let me put this text in the center so we can see it. Bump it down some. And let's test to make sure this works. So whenever it becomes a four or a one, this thing should fade out when it hits 41. Boom. And now it's fading back in. 44, boom, it fades out. Okay, that's good. So here's what we want to do though. We want to speed that fade up. As you can see, it was fading out when it was a one and when it was a four. So I'm gonna go back to that animation for that first shape. I'm gonna go over to its animation and I'm gonna make it fade out quicker. All right, and now I'm going to copy and paste this because now I want to apply like a rotation to it. So it's the same code, I'm just going to apply a rotate to it. So let's save this, let's go back to the home screen. 21, it rotates and it fades out. It comes back in for 22, 23, and 24, it fades away again. So again, now watch when it hits 31, it's going to rotate and fade out. Boom, it comes back for 32, 33, then it goes away for 34, perfect. This is what we have to go back and do for <laughs> all these other seven pieces. So, um, let me go into KOWP and let's do all the rest of them. So we're done with the one spot, or not with the one, we're done with the top spot. Which one do we want to mess with now? Well, whatever one I have inside of root next. So the next one I have inside of root is this red one that we see here. So when do we want it to fade out? We want it to fade out for one, two, three, not for four, not for five, not for six. We do want it to fade out for seven, not for eight, not for nine, and not for zero. So we have to do that same animation. So to speed that up, I'm gonna go back to this code. I'm gonna copy, let me just copy one of them. This was from our first shape. And then I'm gonna go into this red one here and we're gonna paste it because we have some of the same stuff in here but we have to change this code right here. All right, so we want it to fade out for one or we want it to fade out when it's equal to two. I'm gonna copy and paste some of this stuff. We gotta do it for two more spots. So I'll tell you what, let me just do it like this. Or I need to do it two more times. So just to speed this up, I'm going to copy and paste this part here after that or. So I'm gonna put it right there. So we want it to fade out for one. Um, we want it to fade out for two. We want it to fade out for three. So I need to come right here and we'll change this to a three. And we also want it to fade out for a seven. So I'm gonna change this one equal to a seven. That should be good to go. And let's copy and paste this. And let's get this to do something a little bit different. Um, let's make this one, I mean, we can do whatever we wanna do. Let's do uh, scale out. And what's gonna happen slowly is that each time um, we do this, Okay, it's not really going to make too much sense because there's so much stuff going on, but i tell you what, I'm going to go through here, I'm going to go through each individual piece. So we've done the top one and we've done this one. Now we got to focus on this one. And once we come in here and apply the codes correctly, hopefully we're going to start seeing the digits down here show up in our digits. So I got those two. Let's see, now which one's next? The blue one right here. So let's go back and let's see when we want the blue one to fade away. I'm going to come through here and highlight them. I don't want it to fade away. I don't want it to fade away. No, no, we do here. So five and six. 
not 7, not 8, not 9, not 0. So what we can do, let's see, do I still have the animation copied over? Perfect. All right, so there's two spots, one is 5 and one is 6. So I'm going to come back into here. I'm going to make this one a 5, and I'm going to make the other one a 6, and we can delete. Well, let me do this one as a 6. That way I can delete those other ones quicker. Now you have to be careful and make sure you're deleting only what you're supposed to delete. All right, so take that away and that away there. So again, we're working on uh, this part here. We want it to fade away when it's a 5 and when it's a 6, and that's what this code right here is doing because it's cutting that last part. It's only going to print the second digit of the seconds. That's what that negative 1 is doing. So check that. Um, let's back out and let's apply another animation. So it's doing like two things at one time. Let's make it rotate inverted. Why not? Boom. Okay, so we got that one going on. Now let's go. I'm assuming my next one is going to be this middle one in green. Good. Let's go over to its animation and let's paste in the animation. Now let's go through here and highlight where we want it to fade away. We want it to fade away when it's 1, when it's 7, and when it's 0. That's the only time I don't want that middle bar, because notice the 2 has it, 3, 4 does, 5 does, 6 does, 7 doesn't, that's why we're going to fade it away. 8 and 9 we don't, or we don't want it to fade away, and 0 we do. So we need three pieces in this code. So I want one of them to be 1, I want it to fade away. When it's equal to 7, I want it to fade away. And let me copy a little bit of this stuff. I need to put another OR statement. Oh, come on. Let me try it up here on the stylus. Sometimes this thing works good, sometimes it doesn't. And right now it's not, so I'm going to stay away from that. I'm going to get my pen stylus out on my cell phone and see if we can fine tune this. Gosh, it would have been easier if I just typed it in. Alright, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here and I just got to make sure I change that number. So what did we say again? We wanted a 1, a 7, and a 0. So I got the 1, I got the 7, I need to put a 0 right there in that spot and we should be good to go for that one. All right, let me save this just in case it locks up on me. All right, so we're done with that one. Now what? Whoops, okay, we want to apply an additional animation to that too, I'm guessing. Let me make sure I pick the right one. One, two, three, four. That was this green one here. All right, what do we want this thing to do? It's going to fade out. Let's do a... Um, scale out horizontal whatever um, but now notice I haven't changed anything else you know you can adjust your anchors the durations I, I recommend keeping this duration less than a second that way it comes out and it quickly comes back in when it's needed that's why I changed that time there earlier I should have mentioned that alright what's next the light blue here so when do we want the light blue to go away we want it to go away at 1 at 3, at 4, at 5, at 7, and at 9. There's a bunch of them here. You see all those? We don't want to see that light blue when it's 1 second, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 9. So we got to go to our animation. Let's paste the code. And I think I got four. Okay, I got three pieces in here. So one, I'm good. I tell you what, seven, since seven's one of them, I'm going to let it be. Zero is not one of them, so I'm going to change that part of my code. What's something else that I don't want it to be? Okay, I got the one second. I got the seven seconds. I need to do a three. Let's see here. I'll tell you what. I got an idea. Let's try this. How many more do I need? About one, seven, three. I need three more, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to copy all of this stuff. All right, that's good enough. 
All right, I'm gonna come right here. I didn't copy an or, so I gotta put an or in there. And then I'm gonna paste. So what do we need? We need one, we got a seven, we got a three. I need a four, five, six. So I need to do a four, I need to do a five, and I need to do a six. Now I know I got those out of order, and it does say a parentheses mismatch, so I did not copy something correctly. Uh, right here, I didn't copy TC cut. Okay, let's double check this. One, do I have my three? Do I have my four? Do I have my five? Do I have my six? Do I have my seven? Do I have the ors all in between them? We're gonna find out right here in a minute. I can always come back and change this code. And let's create something new for this as well when it fades out. Mm. Scale out vertical. All right, almost there. We got what, two more? So now we're on to, okay, that's the, let me see, let me make sure it's the yellow at the very bottom. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll just do this one here. This is the pink. What do we want the pink to fade out on? All right, we want it to fade out here, on the four, on the seven, and that's it. Okay, cool. So let's go to animation, let's paste, and let's see how many codes, whoa, okay, I don't need all these now. I just want it to do on the one, the four, and the seven. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to delete, I got a one, a four, and a seven in here if you see the codes. So I'm gonna delete everything else. All right, so on a one, a four, and a seven, we want the bottom to fade out. That looks good, so let's check that. Let's go back, let's copy and paste this, and let's add another animation to it as well. Um, well, I'm just about, okay, let's do a scroll, why not? That's gonna be kinda unique looking. And then we got one more we need to do here, and that's going to be the yellow, the yellow bar here. So when do we want it to fade out? Not too often. Actually, okay, just a two, it looks like. Three, we want it to stay. Four, eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, just a two. Great. This is going to be a quick one. All right, so we'll apply two. Let's take away everything else. Only a two is when we want that one to fade out. And if I did this correctly, which could be highly unlikely if I did it, everything right on the first try, um, what's one more thing we can do? Okay, let's scroll inverted. So we've got like different animations going on in all these pieces. Let's save it. Let's go back to the home screen. Let's see what we got. Seven, eight. Okay, the nine, the zip, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six isn't working right. Eight nine zero okay this one over here is acting a little weird this one right here because the six it should have showed up so let's go look at the light blue and see if we can fix that yeah, it's just a matter of trying to find okay lucky got it boom okay i'm on this one let's go over to its animation and let's review the code I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to fix this one first, and I'll copy a new code down there to it. So when do we want this thing to fade away? Uh, okay, we want it to fade away for one. We want it to fade away for three, for four, for five. We don't want it for six, and boom, look at that. There's my mistake right there. We do want it to fade away for seven, and we want it to fade away for nine. So let's see if we can fix this. One, we're good. Seven, we're good. Three, we're good. Four, we're good. Five, we're good. I just need to do a nine. And I bet when I did this a few minutes ago, maybe I said a six, I didn't mean to, but it needs to be a nine. 
And that's going to fix that 6 and that 9 problem we had. So let's go back and check it out. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. I like it. Boom. Just like that. Now, what you're going to have to do, this should not get out of sync. Um, it, it might have a, a hiccup here and there, but that thing I showed you at the very beginning of the video where the, the padding and all my number global variables, I'm not going to cover that in this video because that's what led to problems. This right here should stay in the same spot wherever you create it. So you should, um, shouldn't have those issues. If you do, leave a comment below so you can share that information with others as, as well. But uh, yeah, there you have it. That's how you can take a digit make its individual parts and animate each one individually. And you can do this for minutes, seconds, hours, dates, you know, month, all that stuff. But yeah, there you have it. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.